Mulan. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Mulan. She is the newest Chinese warrior coming to Smite. First off, she has a very unique passive called Training Arc. She utilizes three different weapons in a sword, spear, and a bow. Each of her three abilities utilizes a different weapon. When you deal a specific amount of damage with a certain weapon in one game, you're going to level up that weapon, giving your ability that uses that weapon an extra bonus. Her first ability is called Cross Strike. She swings her sword twice, dealing damage both times anywhere from 70 to 155, plus 30% of her power. The cooldown on this ability starts at 16 seconds, but goes down one second each time you rank it up. After Mulan deals 600 total damage with this ability in-game, this ability will level up to Skilled, giving her a 25% attack speed increase for 4 seconds each time she uses this ability. Once you deal 2400 damage, it's then upgraded to Adept, allowing you to then strike for a third time. And finally, after 6000 damage done, this will be level up to Mastered, giving you a 5% permanent attack speed boost. Her second ability is called Spear Thrust. She's going to throw her spear out in front of her for a short distance, dealing anywhere from 120 to 260 damage, plus 35% of her power. This ability costs anywhere from 50 to 70 mana and has a 14 second cooldown. Once you deal 600 damage with this ability and it's leveled up to Skilled, Mulan heals herself for up to 3 enemies hit. The heal will range from 15 to 75 depending on which rank, plus 10% of your physical power. Once you deal 2400 damage and this ability is leveled up to Adept, Mulan will strike a second time, this time a little bit further out in front of her, dealing bonus damage. The bonus damage will be anywhere from 20 to 80 plus 15% of your power. Her third ability is called Grapple. This ability cannot be used on minions. If she hits an enemy god with her arrow, she's going to deal anywhere from 90 to 270 damage plus 50% of her power. This is also going to stun them for 0.8 seconds, pulling them towards Mulan while she dashes towards them to deal bonus damage. The bonus damage is going to be anywhere from 40 to 80 plus 20% of your power. Once you deal 300 damage with this ability, it's then leveled up to Skilled. This is going to give you a protection buff anytime you hit an enemy god with Grapple. You will gain anywhere from 15 to 35 protections. After you deal 700 damage with this ability, it will be leveled up to Adept. This allows Mulan to use her Grapple onto a wall to pull her towards it. And finally, after 1500 damage, it will be leveled up to Mastered. This is going to give Mulan a permanent 5% movement speed boost. I also forgot to mention that this costs 60 mana, has a 16 second cooldown, and your protections will last for 4 seconds. And finally, her ultimate is called Divine Mastery. She dashes forward with her sword, and if she hits an enemy god, she will deal anywhere from 80 to 320 damage, plus 60% of her physical power, and stun them for one second. If an enemy god is hit, she will then use both her spear and bow to further attack the enemy. The spear is going to deal anywhere from 100 to 260 damage, plus 40% of her physical power, and will also knock them in the air. It's then quickly followed up with her bow, which will deal anywhere from 150 to 350 damage, plus 50% of her physical power. Dealing damage with any part of this ability gains skill towards the weapon used. This cost a flat 100 mana and has a 100 second cooldown. Godlike, cancel that. I fight for you all. Amazing.
Ning Hao, we will meet again. Fight well for your family. Be honored by your people. This battle is over. I am proud of you. Fight well for your family. Be honored by your people. Ugh, no good. It is all right. Oh, no. We try again together. You're welcome. There is no need to taunt those that have no hope to win. Even as a mortal, this would not have been much of a challenge. Come on, I know you can do better than that. You fight and fight, but you never learn. The battle has only started. Why do you already look so defeated? As the deity, we must be loved by the people. So remind me, how did you all become gods again? Work hard and follow your dreams, and I'm sure you can become a god too. So you accept that sea creatures and squirrels can be gods, but you doubt me.